Max. Prove yourself. It's on three. Mad lads might still be able to hold their own. Kezu getting low. Pablo stunned up. That's the first blood. Cindering gets it. Coming. And Jonas has no idea. Yeah, this is a big, big problem for Jonas. <laughs> he can say that. Uh, and then he's going to get a regen. Oh, thank you. Mm. Not able to finish him off. Now the cursed crown the other way. Cindering getting chased down by the Elder Titan. It's a pretty tight back and forth. Pablo now low. He makes it back. Stomp goes off. Maybe next time finishes him. Maybe will go down, though. The heals from Oracle. Not going to be enough. Double kill for Hanskin. Oracle level 3 is just one of the best feelings. <laughs> you do so much damage relative to like everyone's HP at this point in the game. Yep. We're going to see it again here. Kezu getting low. Soon to be bursted down by the Oracle. They need just a little bit more. Try lane now officially. Yeah, she's TPing now. She's level 6. This is a great time to use Sonic Wave. Kezu maybe looking for the turn. Instead, Frost just tanks the entire Sonic Wave. Oracle trying to save him with the Edict. And it won't be enough. Now Hanskin's going to get chased down. The four on one. Too much pressure for this Oracle to handle as Cindering gets vision over the tree line. They actually don't have the damage. And now they have to take tower shots to dive this. Still Madara able to blink in and finish him off. At mid perhaps? Gets the stomp. And it should be a kill. Well, in OD comes all the there, disable from there. Oracle also. And with that case, Aaron makes it an that ability rune. On to Kezu. Hanskin helps set it up, and now Jonas just looking for that last little bit of damage. And they'll get it easily. Pablo showing us what the Elder Titan's all about as Jonas shows off his primal roar. Might be it. Cinder in now. Fortune's End will lock him down. Primal roar to follow up. Easy right, kill for, for Hanskin. Now the other way. Yeah, Kezu with the combo, but another stomp. Willow. Still alive as Madara rotates in. Jonas starting to heal back up, but the Sonic Wave ticks him down too low. Oh, Koikva. Koikva trying to steal some damage, but he's going to get punished for that one. It's a double damage OD. Eek. That's a pretty rough kill. They're going to lose the mid tower for it, though. Didn't be uh, any way they save this, I don't think, even with the fort. In fact, nope. they don't even bother. Maybe a freebie from Adara. Jumps L. Now down bottom. It's Willow that gets initiated on. TP out. It looks like it'll be unsuccessful. Oh. Wow. Time once that gets up. And then it's going to be on Pablo to kind of control. They're wrapping from behind, though. They don't really notice in time. But a oh, nice stun on though. two. Kezu sets it up. It's a dead Jonas. Hanskin able to ult himself, but it's a huge stomp on four and maybe a turn. Elder Titan's ultimate gets the kill on Sin and helps set it up onto Koikva. Now Kezu on the run. Right clicks from the OD starting to hurt as he gets a double kill. Just obliterate everyone. Or bottom. Madara initiated on. That's going to be a kill. Again, Hanskin has the damage. Initiates with the dagger, follow-up stun onto Era. Nice ice blast, but Era will survive. False promise comes out. Pablo gets the edict, but it won't be enough. They lose two, and Era also pops. It's a big rotation. And so a big save there onto the OD. So yeah, perfectly executed. That's uh, about 1K that just dropped in the lead. And Madara should be all right, and they can just turn that right back onto Jonas. Big burst damage coming his way. Down he goes, but he gets the quap. Oh, what a... What? Right. <laughs> tower does go down using the power of zoning with Elder Titan Spirit. Oh, tower does not go down, actually. Where was that roar? I heard it. So, Cinder and Dido is off with a stomp. Just as the Shadow Realm comes out, that's actually pretty nice. Now, Primal Roar onto Cinderin. Both Radiant supports looking like they're short for life here, and they do go down. Koikba now on the backside. Kezu jumps in, and Kezu taking way too much damage. He falls. Now trying to chase down Koifa. He's pretty fast. Lose it because Razor's right there. Hello. Well, they weren't quite expecting that, but they get off the primal roar, and Koifa ends up being an easy kill. Seemed to almost catch him by surprise as they wrap around behind that tier one tower. Now the siege mid. Era jumps forward right onto the tiny. Follow up stomp, and now Kezu is in a lot of trouble. Follow up fortune's end, and yeah, no team presence. Quap is top. 
Radiance comes out just in time. Frost actually needs to be careful. Almost gets shattered to Roche. Sindarin, two shots from Era, gets him very low. Oh my god, Terrorize it's just the two into supports. the pit. Can they do this? Willow looking to finish off Roche. It's going to go down to the Radiant, and Era ends up with the Aegis, but they get the gold on the. Hawk looking nearby. Madara actually jumps in onto Jonas. The full combo gets unleashed. Jonas definitely going to pop, but now the Echo Stomp, the Necro units, not not there. You know, sure, there's some Easter something. egg there. The Titans and Warcraft and what's lore not? are like massive super creatures that are like the size of planets. Dark Willow probably in some trouble here. I mean, Aerosol is the blink to reinitiate. Well, there's a double damage on Tiny on the high ground, so they might need to be just a little bit careful. Quap jumps in on the Oracle. Hanskin silenced Dude, Era up. has so much int, though. On the backside, oh my, Era is just destroying him. He kills Sin. He almost kills Kezu. And on the other side, they get Madara. What happened in this fight, Trent? It was this odd he split up motion. Is now Era connects with the Banish and will finish him off with a triple kill. That was all OG of the round robin. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Cinder in again, final matters. roared. The surprise inside jumps out onto Madara. He has no blink. They weren't quite ready for that infest bomb. Jonas survives thanks to Hanskin. And the three are down. A triple kill for Frost and maybe even more. They catch maybe next time. And now Kezu tries to TP out. It looks like he's probably gonna make it. But a quick four for nil. This game just more more economic crippling damage. If they lose a fight, they could potentially lose tier fours. Cindering gets killed again as Era gets tossed. There, see what's up. But finds a couple of heroes. Really wants level twelve. Whoa! He's gonna just pop his bedlam early. Era says, "Hey, Sin." Well, that's a thing, or I don't know. You can't just like roam around and get kills together very uh, easily. Whoa! Maybe next time, evaporated from the game. And, and he actually blink. blinks out of the Ava. Now Madara gets hexed. They break the Lincolns one more, and Madara will go down. No buyback available there. BKB used by Koikva, but at this point, Era has become the true carry. He just hits so hard. There's no getting away from him. And GG is called. That'll do it as TFT dominate game number two, 38-13.